In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can edit like James Janney and specifically how you can make this animation in Adobe After Effects. Which meant maximizing your own wealth so that you could give away more to charitable causes. Also, if you guys have any video editing inquiries, you can contact me through the email in the description. I'm going to create a new composition and I'm just going to name it something like James Janney Tutorial. I'm also going to import all of the assets which I'm going to be using today, which you can find a link to in the description below. I'm also going to get the text and I'm going to start, I'm going to type up earn to give. I'm going to decrease the scale a bit and yeah, I'm just going to decrease it a bit more because it was quite small in the James Johnny video. And I'm going to increase the vertical width like this and I'm going to align the text as well. I'm also going to make, get a shape um, and I'm going to create a rectangle around the earn to give text. I'm going to change the stroke, stroke to five and make sure there's no fill as well. I'm going to align this box that I've just made and I'm going to duplicate it and add a white fill and decrease the stroke to zero. So, and then I'm going to press T to open up the opacity and I'm going to decrease the opacity of this new white solid I've made. So, and then there's two of them and I'm going to add the glow effect onto the text and increase, increase the glow radius until around 60 and decrease the glow intensity as well until it looks a bit like this. I'm going to add my grunge, grunge texture at the bottom and I'm going to create a new black solid and put that below the texture. I'm then going to decrease this. I'm just going to increase the scale of the texture. This is optional, but I'm just going to play around with the position until it looks a bit different because I don't really like the position of it. I'm going to decrease the opacity of this texture I've just made to around six. I'm then going to open up Animation Composer 3, which is a plugin by Mr. Horse or an extension. And I'm going to find a um, the uh, decode lines together effect. By the way, the extension is free. I'm not sponsored by them, but just find it on Google, Google somewhere. I'm going to delete the end marker it's just made and I'm going to increase this one as well the um, offset, yeah, character offset to around eight. And this is the effect it has created for me. It's not exactly like James Johnny's one, but it's close enough anyway. And I'm also going to make it, to make it more like the James Johnny one, I'm gonna add the typewriter effect. And I'm going to press U to open up the keyframes, which it's just made for me. And I'm gonna find where it starts to transition in. And I'm gonna change, make the starting keyframe then. And then I'm gonna change, go to where it start, it stops like glitching and I'm going to make the end keyframe of the uh, typewriter effect that as well. I'm just going to play around with the keyframes as well until I get what I want. Maybe I'll increase the um, duration of it and I'm going to go back and I'm just going to change the character offset to 10. It doesn't have to be, this is all preference by the way, this stuff, but this is what I've done. You can follow what I've done if you want. I'm going to uh, pre-compose all of the text layers I've just made, the two uh, shape layers and the text. I'm going to name it earn to give and I'm going to make it 3D and keyframe the position at the start. Go forward by maybe two seconds and add another keyframe, then go to the start and I'm going to increase the position so and then it's closer to the camera like this. And then I'm going to highlight the two keyframes I've made, press F9, go into the graph editor and I'm going to play around with the graph until I get what I want like this. And basically it's yes, it looks like it's going, it's going from close to the camera to away from the camera in quite a smooth way. It looks quite nice and cinematic like this. And yeah, if you've done everything right, you should have this. Then keyframe the X rotation at the start. Then open up, uh, press R to open up the X rotation, by the way. Create another keyframe at, at the end. And then either go to the start and increase the X rotation, X rotation to 20 or something like that. And then highlight the keyframes you've just made. Press F9 and go back into the graph editor. And then just play around with the keyframes or the graph until you get something like this. Just make it a bit smoother. Then maybe go three seconds into the video and make it so and then the text goes a bit further away from the camera again and it should go like this so and then it basically moves even further away at the end but yeah this second graph it's made it's a bit steep so i'm just going to play around with the second graph i've made so yeah i'm just going to do something like this so and then it starts off slow and then makes becomes faster like this so it's like basically like moving away at the last minute before it stops I'm going to keyframe the opacity at um, at zero and then I'm going to actually no, I'm going to make it so and then it starts at 100 and then about a second after it's going to go to zero. So it's like it's like disappearing like this. It's fading out. 
and I'm just going to pick up the texture to the black solid and I'm going to scale the black solid in a bit and I'm going to keyframe the scale at the start go to about three seconds in and I'm going to increase the decrease the scale back to 100 so and then it's basically like slowly zooming out I'm then going to pick whip the earn to give to the black solid and I'm just going to increase the position a bit and yeah this is what you should have so far I'm going to make a new composition and I'm going to name it box I'm then going to get the box um like tool and I'm going to hold shift while creating this box and it'll make a perfectly shaped box I'm going to align the box as well and decrease the scale of it a bit and align it again and then I'm then going to just make the fill black and then I'm going to duplicate it twice with control D or command D so there's three of them and I'm going to make the top one um, no fill and a three white st stroke and yeah actually I'll make it five so basically yeah, you should have three layers the top ones only a white stroke and I'm going to add the glow effect uh, onto the bottom layer and change the glow based onto alpha channel and increase the um the glow like this so and then it's basically like the glow width or whatever it's no the glow radius so it looks a bit like this and then i'm going to go back into the original composition and around i don't know two seconds i'm going to add the box um composition underneath the urn to give one i'm going to keyframe the opacity at 100 i uh, know at zero and then I'm going to go forward maybe a second or so, and I'm going to increase the opacity to 100. So and then it's like the box is the earn to give is getting replaced by the box. I'm then going to pick whip the box to the black solid. Like everything's um, pick whip to the black solid, by the way. And that means everything gets scaled at the same time. And I'm just going to just change this scale. So and then it basically scales in for longer, as you can see. And the basic, yeah, it's basically like this very slow zoom out effect. It's pretty... It looks pretty cool and yeah this is what we should have so far i'm just going to play around with the keyframes until i get roughly what i want um this stuff's all optional you can follow along if you'd like but i can't i'm not even going to explain it because it's it's all preference like you just play around with the keyframes basically until you get what you want i'm then going to go back into the box composition and i'm going to just decrease the glow intensity to maybe something like 0 0.4 and i'm going maybe 0 0.5 and I'm going to go to the top shape layer and add the trim paths effect, like how how you can see I'm like I'm doing on screen. I'm going to keyframe the end at zero at the start. Then I'm going to go forward by about a second, and I'm going to change the end to 100. And this is and basically I'm going to highlight these keyframes, press F9, go back into the graph editor, which you can which you might have noticed we've been doing a lot, and it's just the fundamentals of time remapping. And I'm just going to mess around with the graph very slightly like I've done on screen. And I'm just going to change the end to actually 50 because I've got a better idea. And I'm going to change the offset. So and then it basically starts in the bottom left hand corner like this. Basically just do what I've done on screen to create this. Then duplicate what you've just made. There's this shape layer. So there's another one. And go to transform and flip vertical and rotate it to around minus 90 so and then it's basically going to create this i'm going to basically line up the box um, which we've made the new one and to the other two boxes or three boxes so and it looks a bit like this and it should create this which is what was in the james Janney video and add the glow effect onto one of them and then just play around with the glow until you get what you want and when you found what you want copy the glow and add it onto the other one like this so and then both of them have the glow and this is what you should have so far. I might have explained it badly, but just watch the recording and then you should be able to replicate it. Then I'm just going to change the box opacity to something like 90, 95. So and then um, because it, so I don't know why it just looks a bit better if it's slightly see through. And this is what you should have so far. It looks quite clean. Then I'm going to add this weird screenshot that I found on Google. And it's basically a bunch of little circles and it's going to add a texture to this box we've just made. Like there is one in the James Janney video. I'm going to decrease the scale, add the tint effect. And I'm going to map the white to a very dark gray. So and then it's not, it doesn't look weird. And as you might be able to see, I don't know if it's rendering it on the screen, but there's loads of tiny little dots. And I'm also going to add the motion tile effect onto this little square that I've made. And... 
I'm going to increase the like the output width and output height to it covers the entire square with these little um because all the um motion tile effect does is it basically makes whatever picture you have on screen makes it longer like you basically can extend the length of something um and yeah i'm just going to make it so and then it maps the box by and yeah i'm by just increasing the output width and height and yeah as you can see it's pretty perfect it's lined up with the box nicely i'm just going to change the view back so it's a fit to 100 percent and I'm going to decrease the opacity of this because I don't want it to be too obvious. Um, and yeah, this is what it should look like. You probably can't see it on the screen, but yeah, I'm just going to this. You sh when you do it yourself, you should be able to see it. I'm also going to press um, control shift D around four seconds in to cut the box. And with the new box layer that I have, I'm going to scale it up slightly and I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to name it bars. This is where I'm going to create the cool bars effect, which was at the end of the video. I'm going to just make it so, and then it has no stroke and a blue fill, like in the James Johnny video. And I'm going to make a bar and then a bottom bit, like as I'm doing on screen. And I'm going to change the color of the bottom bit to white. Just try and, I can't really describe what this shape is. It's like a weird, like podium thing. I can't really describe it, but I'm going to play around with the position until it's uh, pretty perfect. And um, this is what you should have. And I'm going to add the trim paths effect onto the shape layer one keyframe the end at 100 and then go forward and add another keyframe about a second in and i'm going to change the end to zero at the start so then it goes from zero to 100 and i'm just going to keyframe the offset at the start and end as well i also forgot to say it, this bit is actually really awkward but basically what you want to do is every free, few frames for the start and end so basically for the first like second or so at the start and end of this animation, you want to basically um, keyframe the end, like the offset of this trim paths effect. So and then the uh, line is quite flat because for some reason, when you try to add a trim paths effect for, and you, for this specific effect that I'm trying to make, which is this loading bar effect, it will just be, it will do this. Basically, you see how it's... Um, at an angle basically what you want to do is you want to every for the first few seconds of the start and end you want to keyframe the offset so and then it's straight like i'm doing on screen here uh, basically just follow what i'm trying to try to follow what i'm doing on screen you'd have to do it for the whole thing just for the first second and the last second and it will should create this loading bar effect like this um, it's quite hard to explain. There's definitely an easier way to do this, but I haven't found that out and I've always used this way. You can either follow the way I'm doing it or you can just go on YouTube and find another way. Then I'm going to duplicate the layer shape layer one and two and I'm going to make the, move the layer three and four up to the top. So basically I'm going to duplicate this bar that I've just made. And yeah, you can duplicate with control D and yeah, move the other one to the right so and then there's two bars one on the left and one on the right i'm going to pre-compose the bar the left bar the two layers at the bottom and i'm going to name it wealth earned and i'm just going to press Control alt t at the start and maybe a couple seconds in and i'm going to add two time remap keyframes at the start and at maybe one second in i'm going to create this um thing with the graph and it will basically make it start off faster and then and slower with the um, bar transition thing that I've made. And this is what you should have for the left one. Don't do this for the right one though, only do it for the left one. And for the uh, new, the second bar, change the second bar color to like orange, which is what it was in the James Johnny video. Obviously, if you're making this for yourself, you can make it whatever color you want. But if you want to re recreate what he did, change it to orange, decrease the um, size of the bar slightly and basically move it down the position again because when you make it shorter it will move it up so basically just yeah play around with the position to it's where it should be again so basically make the bar on the right smaller than the bar on the left and get all of the layer layers you've got in this composition and scale all of them down just select them all and scale them all down problem is this has made it like made them a bit off yeah this has made um I don't know why this is mucked around the scale. I've, there's probably a, should have done this a better way, but yeah, basically scale them all down because you want room for the box at the bottom with the text underneath them. 
And yeah, I just, I'm going to make the bar on the right a bit bigger because it's made it even smaller for some reason. And I'm just going to play around with the position until it's at the right point. I'm going to get the text effect. I'm going to type up wealth, I think wealth earned. Yeah. And I'm just going to decrease the scale of that text and put it underneath the bar on the left. I'm then going to increase the vertical width of the text again, like we did earlier. And I'm, again, I'm going to space out the character slightly. And what I'm going to do is just position it so it's directly underneath the left bar. And I'm going to get another box and I'm going to put that again around the wealth earned um, text. And yeah, just basically just do what I'm doing on screen, but and then change the fill to nothing and make the stroke, I don't know, three or something like that and make the stroke white as well. Yeah, three. And yes, it should have a box around the wealth earned. And just, I'm just going to play around with the position until it's just underneath the bar, but it's like still connected. I'm going to add the glow effect onto the wealth earned text as well. And I'm going to increase the glow threshold a bit. No, the glow radius until it's like this. Um, and decrease the intensity as well. I'm then going to go back into Animation Composer 3, like we did earlier, and find the same effect we used earlier, which is the uh, decode lines together effect. I'm going to add that. I'm going to delete the um, the marker at the end again that we did earlier. Basically the exact thing, same thing we did earlier, and again, change the offset to something like 8. And this, this should make another glitch effect like we've just done. And again, find the typewriter effect and do what we did earlier again on the wealth earned text. So find where the text starts to fade in like here and that's where you make the start keyframe and then find when it stops glitching and goes to just the normal text and add the end keyframe there as well i'm also just yeah see what this looks like it's a bit fast so i'm just gonna space out the tr in um marker a bit so then it takes a bit longer to fade in and move the um, typewriter effect as well a bit i'm gonna pick whip the shape layer 5 to the wealth earned basically the, the box to the text and I'm going to keyframe the position at the start. Then I'm going to go forward by maybe 15 frames and make another make another keyframe, then go to the start and make the first keyframe go down a bit. Then I'm going to create an opacity keyframe at the start uh, for both of the text and the box. And I'm going to go forward and make it zero and then go forward a bit and then make it so and then the text and box gets faded, it faded into 100%. So it's basically creating this effect. I'm then going to press U to open up the keyframes of the wealth earned. I'm going to highlight the keyframes, the position ones, Make press F9 to open, and then open up the graph editor. And then going to make it a bit smoother like this. So yeah, it's just, I might have explained that a bit far, sorry. And yeah, just follow what I'm doing on screen. But I'm going to move everything a bit further across so it's not just instant. You also just want to make a second version of this wealth earned box and put it underneath the orange bar. So basically just duplicate what you've just done for the orange bar one, but make it like a second or so delayed after the one, like the box on the left. And if you've done it correctly, you should have this. Then change the position of the orange bar. So, and then it starts like basically at the exact same point as the bar on the left. So it looks like they're part of the same bar. You'll have to line it up perfectly for this or you'll be able to see the difference because they're different colors and then keyframe the position maybe a second in for the orange bar then go forward by around a second and then move the position to the right so and then it's over the second box so and then you should have this if you've done it correctly it basically should move over to the right but to make it smoother highlight the keyframes you've just made press f9 go into the graph editor and create this kind of graph so it's basically like it's it's basically like a peak like this and try to make the peak as close to the middle as you can i'm also going to extend the last keyframe further so it basically takes it's a bit smoother then i'm going to move all the keyframes these four keyframes closer to the start then change the wealth earned box on the right to charity donations so and then basically yeah, the, the text says charity donations on the right and wealth earned on the left then unlink the shape layer the box from the text and just increase the um, size of the like box so and then it fits the charity donations text and then just pick whip it to the charity donations one again so and then it basically they're linked again then just change the position of the charity donations text at the start so it goes down a bit and then comes back up again like this so it's basically the same but just with a different text i'm also just going to play around with the positions so and then it just is a bit further 
and it isn't just so rushed. So then I'm basically stretching out the transition a bit. I'm then going to go back to the original composition and I'm going to add the bar um, composition onto the box that I made earlier. I'm just going to center it so it's in the middle of the box. Then pick whip the bars to the black solid and just stretch the bars so then it starts around in around four seconds into the clip. So and then it, it, it kind of like abruptly starts like it kind of just instantly comes in. So I'm just going to keyframe the opacity at the start as zero and then go forward a few frames and then make it um like 100 so and then it just slightly fades in so and then it's not just like instant and this is what you should have so far how oh, it's kind of like on the um on the box it looks it's like how it was on the james johnny video and i'm going to just maybe play around with the keyframes as well make it so and then it starts a bit you don't have to do this stuff all this like keyframe stuff like when i adjust the keyframes this is all like personal preference i wouldn't copy this if i were you and this is what you should have if you've done all of this correctly. Um, we're almost done. I'm going to go back into the wealth earned one and I'm going to add the glow effect onto the um, like blue like box the rectangle that I've made. I'm going to increase the glow um, width or whatever it's called and I'm going to copy the glow and add it onto the same glow with the same settings onto the ca uh, charity donations one as well. And here is the finished edit. I know I explained this badly, but hopefully you managed to follow along.